time of great anticipation and excitement, as we begin the season, we give you thanks for the gifts that you have given the students that enabled them to play with so much heart, skill, and courage. But in the midst of anticipation and excitement, we come also with the knowledge that while this game is fielded in fair play and in common respect, the same is not always true in the world in which we live. We ask you, Lord of all things, to continue to build the character, the drive, and the passion for greatness in these young men, so that having succeeded in playing well on this field, they may demonstrate the kind of strength, skills, and values that would bring peace and greatness to all places and peoples of the world. We gather tonight not only to pray for these players, but for all those who have gathered here, who honor and cheer for their teams, and foster a spirit of community within competition. Bless and protect both teams this evening. May their play be inspired and free from injury. Bless also their coaches, the band, parents, and fans. Grant wisdom and fair judgment to the referees, and enthusiastic excitement for the cheerleaders. Good evening, all Marist, War Eagle fans, friends, family, and alumni around the state, the nation, and the world. Welcome to another web broadcast of Marist War Eagle football, brought to you by the Marist Broadcasting Club on Play On Sports. I'm Phil Etheridge, along with Marist 8th grade coach Bob Fear, here at the friendly confines of Hughes Spalding Stadium 
on the Marist campus to bring you the first green of the 101st season of Marist War Eagle football. We start this season as we did last year against the Clark, Ca Clark County Central Gladiators from Region 8 in 5A. Last year's game ended in Coach Allen Chadwick's 300 win by the score of 30 to 13. This edition of the Gladiators is led by quarterback Cameron Johnson, number three, who is, who is the returning starter from last year. And they also have two returning starting linebackers, number 20, Kavon Williams, and number 33, Cedric Armstrong. The War Eagles have some new starters at crucial positions, particularly at quarterback, where senior Chase Martinson, number 15, will start. And at halfback, where senior Matt Perez, number 24, is the starter. Marcus Miller, number 21, and Griffin King, number 34, will fill out the backfield. On defense, Maris will be anchored by the front four of number 58, Matt Hoey, number 79, Jack Trainer, number 52, Kendall Baker, and number 43, Kenneth Brinson. The War Eagles won Region 6 Quad A last season and made it to the semifinals of the state playoffs where they lost a tough game in the last minute. This group would like to take it a couple of steps further. Tonight is the first step. Coach Fear, how do you assess the 2013 edition of the War Eagles as we get ready to kick it off? Well, we are a traditional Maris football team. We run B-gap. Um, we run midline and A-gap. And we play good defense. So we're a traditional Marist football team. Old-fashioned football is what Marist does. And you know what? It's worked for all these many years that Coach Chadwick has been here, and I think it'll work yet again tonight. Uh, Clark County Central is a good football team. Uh, Coach Chadwick uh, schedules them, as he does Thomas County Central, and love it to give us some serious competition early in the season so that we know what it's like to be hit and to hit. And personally, I think it's a wonderful beginning to our season. Well, the captains are meeting in midfield, as you can see, for Marist. The captains are halfback number 21, Marcus Miller, defensive end 58, Matt Hoey, um, number 62, linebacker Lot Gwynn, and number 76, starting center, John Simino. Tonight, it is a warm night. I'd say upper 70s. Uh, before the sun went down, it was in the low 80s, 83 at about 5 o'clock. And it's cooled off a little bit, but there is almost no breeze. The flagpole down at the left is has the flag, flag hanging very limply. No breeze at all. It's hot and it's humid. So... That may play a, play a factor in the game as the game moves along. Although both of these teams, I'm sure, have been practicing hard outside in this kind of weather, so it, it shouldn't affect one any more than the other. Well, we it looks like looks like we won the toss, and we did. And they will defer, and Clark Central, I'm sure, will be taking the ball. And Marist will be defending the goal to our right, that is the scoreboard goal. The Marist will be moving the ball in the first quarter towards the school. And we are just about ready to go, Bob. Yep, we are, and all the kids are down underneath the goal post um, for our traditional pregame prayer. Uh, and now the captains are coming back uh, to join with them. And then they're gonna break the um, the banner. The banner. And the boys are back. And the boys are back <laughs> with a great huge, looks like it might be a war eagle, but I'm not sure, and a football underneath the war eagle. Who knows if that's a war eagle or not. Hopefully you can see that on your camera. And that's our best estimation of what that might be. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a bunch of claws. Is the what talons. It has. Right. <laughs> and Clark Central takes the field at the other end. And Clark Central is in uh, white shirts with red numbers and, and uh, gold pants and gold helmets. And Marist is coming out in their new uniforms for this year, which have a lot more gold on them. Yes, they it's do. It's the same blue jersey, although to me it looks darker. But I've been told that's the same blue color that we had last year. 
Um, but there are gold numbers and gold right. numbers on the shoulder. And you will see some other jerseys if you look close, um, some old okay. older jerseys. And those are a lot of basically JV players who have been brought up uh, for tonight's game. Yes, they to are. give them a thrill playing under the lights on Friday night. And some of them may get to play. If they do, we will try to bring them, let you know who they are. It may be a little difficult with duplicate numbers, but we'll, we'll do our best. One thing that we can pretty much say for sure, Mayor's kicker, Joey Gogol, will be doing the kickoff. Number 11, he was our kicker last year for most of the year and uh, has a very strong leg. This year he is both the punter and the kicker. Last year, Chase Martinson, who was a quarterback, did most of the punting, but this year my understanding is that Joey Gogol is going to do most of it. We are ready to go. It's interesting that Maris has uh, elected to kick off. Uh, well, well, they deferred. Right. Yeah, although you think you think Maris always ought to take the ball. I do. He puts his foot in it, and the 2013 season is underway. And the ball is in goes the end way zone. into the end zone, so it will be brought out on the 20. And Clark Central will get the opportunity to run the first offensive play. Cameron Johnson is a senior. He's 6'3", 190. He's the quarterback. And they split out two receivers to his left, one to the right. Got it. And Johnson is in shotgun. And he wants to throw, and he does. And it's incomplete. Looked like it hit number 10 right in the numbers. Austin Johnson dropped it. It's a little low, but he probably should have come up with that ball. Little slant pattern by the wide receiver out here. Bring up second and 10. Now they put two receivers on the right side. And uh, they're overloaded to this side, trying to get over here. He's cutting back into the middle, but he's hit and dropped after a gain of maybe a couple. I think it was brought down by Fletcher Malloy. Who I was going to say, I think Fletcher, safety Fletcher, came Malloy, up Fletcher Malloy was definitely in there. I think Mike Trainer was in there, too. Jack trainer, excuse me. He wants to throw. He does. He fires it down the middle, and it's complete, but it's still going to be short. That was the same young man who dropped the ball the first time, Austin Johnson. He caught it for a gain, but he only got out to about the 27-yard line. Right. Uh, what I guess... Uh, Clark Central thought they were going to do was to get him in open space and, and let him run, and he had to leap to catch the ball, and he fell down. Griffin King drops deep for Marist. Punter is standing back on about the 15-yard line. He gets his foot in. It's oh, very bad, high, bad. very high, but very short. Poison. Marist is telling him to get him away, get away from it, get away from it. It's bouncing on the 40 inside the 45 to about the 42-yard line, a very short punt. And what I find so fascinating is that when the coaches are calling poison, 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 that at least three or four of the players need to get up close and look at the football. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just to make sure it's poison. Yeah. Am I good, Devin, or are you going to be good, Devin? So Maris takes over on their own 42-yard line with 10.34 to go. Chase Martin is on the center. That's Marcus Miller going in motion. There's a pitch to him trying to get around that side. He's got a good block out there by Matt Perez. Marcus Miller may be gone. He cuts back across the middle. Somebody's chasing him from behind, and they grab him and bring him down inside the 15-yard line. But that was a great pitch around the right side yes, to Mar was. Marcus Miller. Flag down. I don't know what it could be. Flag is on about the 20. Oh, face, mask. face mask on on Clark Central. Must have grabbed him. I mean, we saw him coming up from behind. He must have had his arm around him and got him. First 
So Maris says first and goal on the seven. Now Maris comes out in the power formation. Chase keeps it, cuts it up, gets inside the five, runs over one man, and gets inside the five to maybe the four. 11 midline. I was going to say, that's the, that's the old Chase we know and love. <laughs> Case, uh, Chase loves to run midline. Well, he's a strong runner. He is a strong runner, but that's what he loves most of all. Trey Oates comes in with the play from the sideline. And then they split two men out wide to each. One man in the backfield, and that's Griffin King, I believe. Puts Marcus Miller in motion. And there's a pitch to him, and he's in. Nobody within two yards of him. Marcus Very, Miller takes it in. A wonderful decision by Chase. He yes. came up, he read the man coming up to him and pitched it, and Nobody uh, there. Marcus was in untouched. So 9.28 to go. Maris jumps out to a 6 nothing lead. Joey Gogol in to kick the extra point. Matt Hill is the long snapper. Sam Phelps is the holder. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Maris, Nine, seven. 9.28 to go. Maris, seven. Park Central, zero. That's a good start. Got a long way to go, but that's a good way to start the season. Yep. That was um, Marcus Miller's first run was about 48, 49, maybe 50 yards. And then he, since he got it all, he got the pitch and took it in for the touchdown too, which only seems fair. Clark Central drops back deep to receive to receive the kick. Number 28 is deep, along with number 23. That's DeAnthony Vereen and also Desmond Sorrell's number 23. He's the, he's the threat, and he's lined up on the right side, far side. But if Joey puts it in the end zone, it doesn't matter where he lines up. And he gets a high driving kick. Let's see. Nope, that's going to be taken on the one. He's coming out. He makes one man miss, makes another man miss, but he's dropped inside the 20 at about the 17 or 18 yard line. Actually, I think it was the second man that you said missed him um, who actually made the tackle and, and tripped him up. Matt Hill. Matt Hill is the long snapper, but also plays a lot of defense and plays it well. So Clark Central comes out. And they're going to spot it on the 18-yard line. First and 10. They put a man in motion and fake it to the, this side, and now he's going to the other side, and he wants to throw, and he does, and he caught it. Very nice catch. Coming back to the ball. Ball was low, and he caught it. I think it was Dowdy. Couldn't tell from here with his number. I think that's right, number one, Dowdy, right. Uh, it's going to be short of a first down, but just barely. Do you want me to get quarterback, Devin? No, what are they saying? They're saying it was incomplete. Wow. Yeah, I thought he called it complete. I thought he did, too. So second and ten. He might have bobbled it. He had his body covering up our view. It could have come loose while he was on the ground. Johnson gets it to his back up the middle, makes one man miss, bounces out, and it's a nice saving tackle out there by Kendall Baker. No. No, Matt Fletcher Malloy chipped him up because he was about ready to go. He was just about to turn that corner. As it turns out, he didn't quite get to the corner, and now it's third down and about 11. 
Three receivers split wide to this side. He's rolling this way. He wants to throw. Now he wants to run. And Kenneth Brinson chased him down from behind, along with Michael Toner and also Ian Gibson. Yep. All combined to bring him down after a very short game. They got out to the 25, but it's going to be fourth down. And about four, and they're going to drop back in punt formation again. Griffin King again drops back, standing on about his 42-yard line. It's a good snap. The kick is high again and still short. Get away from Ellis. Got a good bounce that time. Inside the 30 to about the 25, just to the 25-yard line. It didn't get a whole lot in the air, Bob, but no, it got didn't. a lot on the ground. I think it hit uh, at about the 37-yard um, line and rolled down to the 25, so about 15, 16 yards. So Maris puts it in play for their second possession on their own 25-yard line. 6.03 to go in the first quarter. Maris leading 7 to nothing. Marcus Miller comes in motion to the short side. Give it to Griffin King, who breaks a tackle. He's still going. He's still going. He gets across the 30 to about the 32 before he's driven back. Nice run by Griffin. Um... I think it was wrapped up by number 25. Mathon Fulton. Mathon, I guess it is, Fulton. But a nice game by Griffin. Griffin's a tough runner. Yes, he is. He's going to put it out to the 33-yard line, pick up of about eight. Call it second and two. There's a pitch to Griffin trying to get around that same wide side over there. He turns the corner. He's hit. And he's close to the first down. I don't know where they're going to spot it. He got thrown out of bounds over there. And let's see. It looks like they may give him, give him a first down out of it. Kavon Williams was the yep. uh, tackler. Got a first down. First down, Maris. First and 10, Marist at their own 35 now. Matt Hill has come in with the play. I believe I said that time was six. Actually, it was eight when, I, when they started. That's Matt Perez. He gives it to Driffin again up the middle. He gets across the 40 to about the 42. Another nice game. About seven and tackled by number 43, um, Kevin Irwin. Another nice game. Matt McGee is bringing in the play to uh, Chase. He comes wide to this side. Broken second, bone. Second and about four. He, Chase wants to throw. He's got some pressure. He dodges the pressure. He gets out of the pressure, and he's got the first down. He scrambles. Dives forward across the 45 to about the 47-yard line and picks up a first down. Nice scramble by Chase. Dreco Browner was the man who ostensibly tackled him, but he really wasn't tackled. He was just diving. <laughs> yeah. He got tripped and lost his balance about 10 yards back from where he ended up being down, and he just put his hand down and stumbling, as this bumbling, stumbling, whatever. Going forward and dove. That would be down. like you and I would do. Uh, except we'd probably be going the other way. <laughs> yeah, it's probably true. First and 10, Marist at their own 47. Chase under center again. He gives it to Griffin up the middle. Got a couple that time. Two, maybe three. It's a flag on the play. Let's see what we got. 
Looks like a hold. And it that's is a hold. Against us. It's a horrible place for that flag to be thrown for Marist football. So that's going to bring it back to probably the, uh, it was on the 47, it's going to be about the 40, the 37, 38. So now it's first and forever. Well, not quite forever. About 20. Power formation this time. Ross Cooper tight end flips over to the right side. There's a flag. Did we jump? You know, I couldn't see it if we did. Well, somebody moved on the defensive side, but that usually the stop the play. That's what it that's what it usually is. Let's see. Yep. yep they're stepping it off against us. So now it truly is first and forever. No, now it's just first and twenty five. <laughs> can't do that though. No, it's a, you it's can't. It's a young team, but that's just that that's you know, that's that's hurting you. Okay. First and 25. Come on, guys. We got three downs to get it. Power formation again. Chase keeps it. Makes a couple guys miss. Gets about five. Yep. So it's first and 20 now. Got that first penalty back. Yep. They're going to put that on the 37, so give them only four. Power formation again behind Chase. He fakes it. He wants to keep it. He does. He cuts it up. He's got some yards. He's almost to the 50-yard line. He's about the 40, 48, 49-yard line. Third and about seven. Yep. Call it the 49. It's across the 48. So a pickup of call it 12. Michael Toner is into the game. You got to get down to the 43 yard line. Power formation again. Clark Central jumps into a five man line. They've been jumping in and out of a four or five man defensive front. Chase fakes it. He's got somebody chasing him. He has a pitch. And to Michael Mike. Toner made one man miss. Got across the 50 into gladiator territory, about but he's gonna be about three or four yards short. He is gonna be about three or four yards short. They're going to put it on the 47-yard line of the Gladiators. So we're going to punt it. Um, if this was eighth grade football, fourth down is just another down. <laughs> we don't punt. you don't have a punter? Or, or? <laughs> no, we've got a punter, actually, but we just keep playing. <laughs> Coach Chadwick is not happy. He's out on the field screaming. Yes, he is. Joey Gogol drops back into punt formation. This is Maris' first punt. On the, he's standing on the 40. Clark Central has a man back on the 10. It's a good snap. Joey Gogol gets his foot in it. It's a high, deep punt. Fair catch signal for and dropped. But he got it back right at the 10-yard line, I believe. He sure, he sure did. and, and uh, That was Dowdy, Joan Dowdy. But a great kick by. And Matt McGee was down there and almost had the football. Clark Central takes over with 2.48 to go in the first quarter. Maris holding on to a 7-0 lead. They're up in, in trips to the right and one receiver outside left. And Johnson is in shotgun with one back standing beside him. And he wants to throw when he does throw. It's a little bubble screen over here. He's got it. 
And he lost, maybe he got back to the line of scrimmage. Where is he? No, he got a couple yards. Yes, he did. They're going to give him a couple, I think. Trey Oates on that stop. He got out to the 14. About three, maybe three and a half. Had a little pressure on him. Brinson was in there with a hand in his face. Wants to throw again. Rolling to his left. Now comes back. Dives forward. Came very close to the first if I he didn't get it. I think they're going to say he got it. Ian Gibson on that stop, I believe, along with Lot Gwynn. But they're going to put it on the 23-yard line, and that's going to be a first down. Do you know that Kenneth Brinson has better than a four-point average? Yeah, I have heard that. It's shocking that he is so smart. Well, it's not shocking. And so good at playing football. Combination, I'm well, talking no, about. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's special. That's no question it about it. It is special. Johnson faked it to his running back, keeps it, tries to get around the side, and a nice stop over there, nice tackle by Matt Hill. Right. Just took his legs right out from under him. Lost a yard back to the 20. Well, are they going to move it at all? No, no gain. Actually, it like it's a loss a of half a yard. Two receivers split wide to the right again. One to the left. Two to the left, actually. Yeah, now he's, that's right. Johnson's back in shotgun again. High snap. Got a little pressure off the side. He fires it. And it's a good catch out there by number 23. A very nice catch. Desmond Sorrells. And they're going no huddle. And they're going to put that out on the 30. Marcus Miller on that stop. Third down, about five. Short five, long four. This time Johnson comes on the center. He's got two backs behind him. But receiver split wide to both sides. And a tight end on his right. And I think that took too much time, I believe. It was Official back here. Yep. That's going to back it up to the 25. So it's going to be third and about eight, maybe uh, yeah. eight and a half. Yeah. Ball spotted right on the 25 yard line. They got to get to about the 33, almost the 34. It's hard to imagine in a no-huddle uh, offense that they could take too much time. Well, they got a little confused coming out in their lineup, I think. They did. Johnson is... There's another flag. Same thing. Another one. Now, that was a quick 25. It yes, it was. I'm not... Timing it with my stop or watch or anything, but that looked like a quick time. Now it's got a blitz coming. Johnson get, rolls to get away from it, and he does get away from it. He's got a man oh. downfield, and he is it's complete for a first down. And he is brought down by Griffin Hill and Fletcher number 23. Malloy, but a nice pass completion to Desmond, Desmond Charles. Got but out of a got out of a big hole there. Yes, he did. And it was nicely done. Yeah, it was. Rolled to his uh, to his left. Had to throw back across his body and and hit him right in the middle of the field. First down. That's Sorrells again, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, he's there for that coming in. And tack tackled by Marcus Miller. Got out to the 44. So it's second and about four, maybe four and a half. Man in motion. It's a pitch going around that side. They shut him down and made the stop for no gain. 
And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. And that was number 32, Jack Kratzenberg, also known as Kratz. And he stopped him on the 44-yard line, so that's no gain on that. That's going to bring up a third down. And four and a half. So the first quarter of the 2013 season comes to an end with the War Eagles up 7 nothing. So that means we've got 39 quarters left until we go to the playoffs, right? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Tonight, uh, 680, the fan is here, and they're showing, uh, or they, they're doing the broadcast on, I think, 630, which is their second station. Okay. And I think a, uh, Athens, either radio station or web broadcast is also here. But none of them can compete with the play-by-play -play of Marist football. Of course not. We all know that. <laughs> so it's third and about six at the 44. They got three receivers to the right. Johnson's in shotgun. He gets it. He's looking to his right. He's got some pressure. He gets away from one man, another man. There's a holding call. Holding call. And he overthrows. In the backfield. And he overthrows his receiver intended for Dowdy. He had he broke away though. Bob yep, he yes had he good did. pressure and he stepped up, and got away from it, and had a man look like he was wide open and he just overthrew him. Part of that might have been the hold. Well that's true. That's true. We gonna uh, take the play or we gonna back him up ten? I would back him up. Nope. We'll decline it. And we'll give him fourth down and see if they don't punt it. Well, they're bringing in a new team, so maybe they will punt it. Griffin King drops back. Jermaine, Jock Jermaine drops back in punt formation. Standing at his 34, he gets it off. Uh-oh. Oh, and they're going to call a rough Horrible, the horrible call. Well, he touched him. He didn't rough him, but he touched him. And I don't think there's anything about running into the kicker in high school. I think it's a roughing, and that's going to be an automatic first down. Although the linesman over there is coming up to the referee to talk to him. I don't know. But that's the referee's call. He had about a three-step punt, so it's first down. And it took him all the way up to the Marist defender coming in. The Marist defender stopped. Uh, it was Michael uh, Toner. And he just touched him, and, of course, when he touched his foot while it was in the air, he fell down. That was it. So that's going to move the ball all the way out to the 49-yard line. Yep. And first and ten for the Gladiators. Johnson's on the center this time. Got double tight ends, and oh, now they shift. Give it to him coming off the right side. Got a little hole. Spins off one man. Marcus Miller almost had him in the backfield, but he got away and gained across the 50 to the 43, 44. Marcus Miller has to come out because he lost his helmet. Right. That's the rule this year. you got to come out for one play when your helmet comes off. Ball's on the 43. It's going to be second and short. Tight end goes in motion. Pitching that way, trying to run behind him. Tripped up. Came very was, close to the first. May have gotten it. I think that was Lot Gwynn who came in and hit his feet, fell forward. 
don't think he did. He's going to be a little bit short. But it's going to be third and less than a yard. Johnson's on the center. Maris is loading up in the middle. Gives it to his back. Going up the middle, he's hit. Got it. And the fumble. He fumbled oh. it. We got it. I believe Lot Gwynn is on it. That was a hard hit. I think it was number, I couldn't tell the number, but I think 62. it was number thir 32 with the ball, Baylor Ward. Uh, 62. Oh, you mean the running back. Yeah. yeah. Lot Gwynn got the fumble. So that's a big play. So Maris will take over with 10-24 in good field position based on that fumble. They recovered it at the 37. First and 10, four Eagles. That's Matt Perez in motion this time. They pitch it to him trying to get around that. Oh, side. nice block out there. Yeah, but there were other people there. Yeah, there were too many. But yeah, but it was a nice block. Very nice block. I can't tell who did it. Uh, 70, looks like 74. They had good pursuit over there, though. They had about five or six people on that Right. On that play. He only got about a yard, if, the, if that. Sean, it was either Sean McVay or Marcus Miller who made that block. It was very nice. Give him a yard. That may be generous, but we'll give him a yard. Second and nine at the 38. Marcus Miller goes in motion. He gets a pitch. He's going to cross the 40 to the 45, the 50, and knocked out of bounds across the 50-yard line. To the Gladiator 46. A good first down from Arist. And Marcus knew he was going to be hit on that one, so he basically just ran out of bounds at once he knew he had the first. First and ten more Eagles now in Gladiator territory one more time. At the 46. Chase, oh, Griffin, and he fumbled the ball, and it's on the ground, but Griffin got it back. He is, uh-oh, I think he's angry that he fumbled. I thought he was hurt, but he's not. He was slamming the ball down. Yeah, no, I think he's angry. Yeah, I think that's right. But Got to the 38-yard line, pick up of about eight. But what a good athlete yeah. who fumbles the ball forward and goes and gets it. Yeah, he's quick reaction, too. Yes. I wonder how his brother's doing down in Auburn. I do, too. I don't know. We can probably find that out somehow. Maybe not tonight, but we'll, we'll let you know. There are a couple of Maris people out there playing. We've got to see how Greg Tabota's doing, see how Miles Willis is doing. Oh, catch it. Oh. Off the finger pits of uh, Matt Perez. Well, Threw well, a little flat pass out there, and he led him, which was nice, but he just a little bit too much and Matt couldn't quite bring it in. We may never know about Miles because uh, Boston College has taken the, the names off the back of the uniform. Oh, is that right? <laughs> as of this year, yes. So Miles will be this... Incognito. Yeah, this five foot nine inch incredibly muscular person who has no, no, no name on his back. Well, we'll just have to get his number, that's all. Right. Okay. Third and short. Chase keeps it. He twists and turns and guides and He's gets the first down. He got yes, it. he does. Ball came loose, but the official said he's down. 11 midline. And he got to the 35, right on the 35. He needed about two, and he got three. First and 10, Marist. At the Gladiator, 35. 8.36 to go in the second quarter. Maris still hanging on to a 7-0 lead. And threatening. Marcus Miller in motion. Fake a pitch to him. Chase is rolling. Now He's he talks run. it. He's 30. 
He's hit and dives forward again <laughs> across the 25 to about the 22. First down. First and 10. Nice run by Chase. First and 10 Marist on the 22. Perez goes in motion. Chase gives it to Griffin here. Griffin King moves up the middle. Gets inside the 20 to the 19. Pick up of three. What do you think that horn is about? Don't know, but I wish somebody would find out and put an end to it. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Second and seven. Goes in motion. Chase fakes it, keeps it. Runs over people, runs around people. He's down. No, they said he's not down. Chase fumbled the ball, and it's a fumble, and they get, the Gladiators are going to recover inside the 10 yard line. On the six, six. On the six yard line. Chase had a good run and a good first down inside the 10. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Coach Etheridge is speaking to him right now about ball security. Uh, I bet he is. You know, you preach ball security from the time they're in the seventh grade until the time they get to be seniors, and you know what? Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Johnson wants to throw. He fires it, and it's complete to about the 18. 17, 18, 19 yard line, give him. It's going to be a first down at the 19. He fired that ball, Bob. Yes, he did. Very nice arm. Gives it to his back up the middle. He's got a hole, and he keeps. Got the first. Across, yes, he did across the 30. That's 20. No, that was 28 that time. Right. The Anthony Vereen. Fletcher Malloy on the stop, but he's out to the 31. side. He's got a little hole. He's got another one. He makes another man miss. He's still going. Fletcher Malloy finally stops him, but not till he gets almost to the 50-yard line. That was Vereen again. And now he goes out, and they bring in fresh legs, given to the 50-yard line. That was a 19-yard gain. The psychology of what I think happened is when we were about to score down on the six and we fumbled the ball, it gave them kind of a fresh breath. Well, and it, and it depressed us. Yes. So you're exactly, I, I agree with you. Johnson pitches, he's going to the short side. That's shut off. Finally, there. finally, we got up there. Who was that? Was that Ian Gibson? I think it was Ian. Yes, 42, Ian Gibson on that stop. He dove forward and picked up a yard. Second and nine at the Marist 49. to pass. He's got time this time. Now he's getting a little pressure. He's rolling. He's trying to turn the corner and gets knocked out of bounds. Oh, goodness. He didn't get knocked out of bounds. Oh, yes, he did. He's coming up to the 40, to the 47. John Marist, Tapp. Marist 46 yard line. John Tapp knocked him out of bounds. Gain of about three. Third down. About, call it six. Got to get to the 40. Maris acting like they're going to blitz. 
and they are. They got pressure. It's a little screen pass, and they got it set up nicely with blockers. He's going inside the 20. Finally, Marcus Miller brings him down inside the 20 at about the 16-yard line or so. Let's see, 15-yard line. That's Desmond nice Sorrells again. It was a nice play. Nice to concede. Right on the 15. And they let all of our people come in and rush hard. And then just lobbed it over their head and had, a, had about three or four blockers out there. And then Mr. Sorrells did the rest. Right. It's nicely done. I assume that we took that timeout. Well, let's hope timeout so. Timeout on the field. And I think it was us, although the scoreboard hadn't reflected anything yet. But I feel sure it was they wouldn't have. 5.22 to go in the half. Maris leading 7 to nothing, But now the Gladiators are absolutely threatening. They have gone from their 7-yard line in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plays all the way down to the Marist 15. And on that play, the defense looked a little gassed. They did look a little a little tired. Not sure what the word gas means, but yes. It means tired. <laughs> it does. It means out of gas. Okay, okay. But they did look a little tired. And Just, but yeah. for but for Marcus. Yeah. That was a score. That was a touchdown. Yeah. First and ten at the fifteen for Clark Central. This time they come out with a eye formation. S straight eye. Oh straight eye. Southern Daniels Cal is, straight Daniels out. Daniels is the deep man. Now he dropped no. Is he going to be back? I don't know whether he's under center or not. He, can, he, he is under center. Yeah, I think he was just backing up to see what the defense was, perhaps. Yep. They don't. If they don't watch it, well, the whistle just blows. It blew, so. Under center, he gives it to his deep man up the middle, and he is got about Jack, four, Jack maybe five, maybe six actually. No, five. Now the ball looks like it's on about the twelve, so he got about three. Man in motion. Pitches to him trying to come around this side. Got a little room and it closed pretty rapidly. He got inside the 10. It's going to be third down. And maybe two or three. Yep. Ian Gibson on the stop. Well, he's inside the 15. Call it the 13-yard line. Number 32, Baylor Ward just no, limped inside, off the field. It's inside the 10. I'm sorry. Call it the eight. Third down, about two and a half, three yards to go. One deep back, that's Soros. He wants to throw, though. He pumps it once. He throws, he's got a man out there, and he's hit, and he's dropped. Nice play out there by, who is that, Seth? Trey Oates. Trey Oates. Nice play. Nice play. So it's going to be fourth and. And that was a loss back to where? Yeah. Well, they're going to say it was no game. Yeah. Well, ooh, it, they're going to say it was a game. About a yard. Yeah, but he only needed two and a half or so. Yeah, but he got only a yard. So we're okay. Now they're going to try to kick a field goal, hopefully. I was watching him hit field goals from about 35, 40 yards in pregame. Matthew Ward is his name. He puts it up. And it's good. Three minutes and 14 oh seconds to go. 7-3, Maris. It's time we got down to business and went down and scored. I agree with that. About a 24-yard field goal. All right, I get to the huddle. Fine, I'll get the other team to 
Three fourteen to go in the half. Marin's lead is cut to four, seven to three now. Marin's had a good chance to score down on down inside the ten. Fumble the ball. Debbie, you want me on receivers? But to be fair, they had fumbled previous to that. We had gotten that fumble, but we didn't get it quite. Didn't do with it. Quite the same thing they did. So this will be their first opportunity to kick off. Marcus Miller and Griffin King deep for Maris, standing at about the five, inside the five. Matthew Ward kicking off for the Gladiators, and he does. And I think that was Julian, wasn't it? It was Julian. <laughs> and he picks it up and gets out to the 32-yard line. Yeah. It was Julian kind of played it like he was a shortstop that time. Julian Clark is who we're talking about. Yeah. He was a, a fullback on offense and on, in there on the receiving team. And with 3.08 to go, Maris puts it in play at their own 31-yard line. 31. Power formation behind Chase. Starting backfield in the game. Chase keeps it. Covers it up this time as he goes down. Yeah, got to 36. So got a nice gain of about five yards. About five. Cedric Armstrong on the stop, number 33. That's their big linebacker, who has really, really been a little quiet in the first half. He's their best line, linebacker. Uh, Griffin uh, King up the middle, but there's a flag. They're going to say we moved, I think. Going to back us up. Yep. So we're back to the original line of scrimmage now in second and ten. Matt Hill comes in with the play. Two eighteen. That's Marcus in motion, fake to him. Chase wants to throw, he does. He's throwing deep. He's got a man down there. Oh, that's got to be a flag. That is a flag. That is a flag. Matt Hill was down there, and he was actually a step beyond the defensive back, and the defensive back grabbed him and tackled him. Before the ball got there. Before the ball got there. Chase can throw a long ball very well. If, that, if he hadn't tackled him, that was going to be a catch for big yardage and maybe a, maybe a score. Well, it's 2.07 to go. Maris comes up to the to the ball. Ball is spotted on the 46 now. First down. Chase is rolling. He wants to throw. He does. Too deep. Yeah, uh, he overthrew Too deep. him. That was intended for Matt Perez out there. He was pretty well covered, though, by Jamil Israel. <laughs> Second down, you got two minutes and one second to get down there and score. Stop the clock on that incomplete pass. We don't have two-minute warnings in high school, do we? I know that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm giving know. them the warning. Okay. <laughs> two minutes and one second. Get down there and score. There you go. Second and ten at their own 46. Chase fakes it. It's a midline. He keeps it and gets almost to the 50. Goal at the 49. That's going to run some clock and gain four yards. I think I guess we just called that timeout. 
Yes, we did. Scoreboard still says three and three. That's a that's our second timeout, I believe. So we've got one left, I believe. Yeah. I understand why they run midline because that's Chase's best play. But with a minute well, or two minutes and one second to go, I'd like to see it get out to the edge. Yeah. Well, they were shutting off. I mean, that we did that in the beginning, but then they started shutting off that edge. They right. were playing that much better. Um, yeah, we'll see. Coach Ken Reed Webster, the varsity volleyball team, currently holds a 6-5 record. They will travel to Shanley High School next Tuesday to play Shanley and Stone Mountain. Matches begin at 5 o'clock. Coach Leo Longoria, the third and JD and seven. Nine and two. On Friday, September 6th, they Big third down play here with a minute 50 to go. Clark Central has already shown big play capability. We don't want to give the ball back to them at all. No. And let them start airing it out just no. before halftime. We, we want to pick score. Up this first down. We need we, to pick up this first down. So we, we want a to touchdown do. and we want to score. Well, that would be a score. Pitch to Marcus Miller. He's across the 50. He's got the first down. He runs over somebody at about the 40, 38 yard line. 21 and 25 for uh, for Rayshawn McCall and Nathan Fulton. And that's going to move it down to the Gladiator 38 yard line. And that only and took stopped, five seconds. And it stops the clock because he went out of bounds. That helped. Okay, 145. Here we go. First down. Man in motion. Pitch again to Marcus Miller. Going around that same place. Spins off a man. Gets out of bounds again to the 32. About eight. You got about eight. About Maybe six, not quite eight. Six. And that play only took five seconds. Spotted on the 32-yard line. Got to get to the 28. So, second down, four yards to go. Clock is stopped. Fakes the pitch. He wants to throw. He pulls it down. He's got a hit from the back, and the ball comes loose. And we got it. Boy, that was lucky. It bounced out in front. Clark Central had a shot at it. He missed it, and we recovered it. Derek Homrich recovered the fumble. And the ball is going to be spotted, and the clock is running. Spotted on the 33. Loss of one. Third down. Another big play coming. Chase has got it. He keeps it, and he's hung tight and dropped for almost no gain. Fourth down. Should have pitched that. Now we're going to run a little clock. I don't know what we're doing. Falls back to the 32. the play clock is. I think that's what they're doing. Nine point three seconds. I guess we're going to try to kick a field goal. That's what I'm thinking. The ball is on the 32. That would be a 42 plus seven. That'd be a 49 yard field goal. Joey could do that. Joey could do it. Let's hope so. Gogol's got a good leg. I don't think that's out of his range. 
And that's what they're going to do. Joey Gokel goes in, number 11. Number 16, Sam Phelps is the holder. Matt Hill is the long snapper. And it's going to be, let's see where they're going to spot it down. Yep, it's going to be right on the 39, just outside the 39-yard line. So that'll be a 49-yard field goal. Just inside the left hash over there. And here we go. It's down. It's up. It's reaching. It's reaching. It's reaching. I think it's good. It is good. It is good. 49-yard field goal by Joey Gogol. 4.5 seconds to go. That's pretty darn good. Very he good. He didn't make it by much, but he made it. That's no, what he made it by a, uh, about a foot and a half. The <laughs> how does that go? The uh, chin of my chinny chin chin? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Four point five seconds. I squib it right now. I don't kick it deep. I don't kick it into the end zone. I squib it, make somebody pick it up, at least run a couple seconds off. Yeah. Maybe all of them if he's if he doesn't fall on it and tries to pick it up and run a little bit. Right? Yep. Set to kick off. Clark Central still got two men deep. Kicker, yeah. Why would I have receiver? It's all the way on the other side. There it is. It's a squiver. Bounces over one man's head, and it touches him on inside the 15-yard line. He's trying to get out to the outside, and he does to a degree. He's still going, but he's hit and knocked out, and the clock expires. Right. Got it out to about the 20-something yard line, but it really didn't matter. I don't know. Maybe we're too old for this. These kids are going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so at halftime, an exciting halftime. Yeah, it was good. Their score is Maris 10, thanks to that last 10-second field goal. Yeah, that Central set. 49-yard field goal. And Clark Central three. Marist jumped out to a 7 nothing lead in the first quarter, and then we had two field goals as the only score in the second quarter. And 10-3 is your halftime score. Are we going to take a break? I think we are going to take a I'm break. I'm going to go get some oxygen. And uh, <laughs> we're going to uh, let me see. We're going to we'll take a halftime break, and we'll come back with some some stats um, just before the second half. All right. Score 10 3. Good guys.
Phil, Eth Phil Etheridge and Bob Fear back here at Hughes Paulding Stadium for just about the beginning of the second half. We've got some first half stats for you. Thanks to Let's Coach go. Novak. Thanks to Jerry Novak, of course, our statistician, par excellence, as they say. Score Marist 10, Clark Central 3. Marist ran the ball 22 times in the first half, picked up 183 yards. Leading rushers were Marcus Miller, who carried the ball five times for 91 yards and scored the only touchdown of the ball game. Chase Martinson ran the ball 10 times for 57 yards. We had two passes, but did not complete any. And so uh, the total offense for Marist was 183 yards. For the Gladiators from Clark Central, they ran the ball 15 times for a total gain of 74 yards. Their leading rusher was number 28, DeAnthony Vereen, who carried the ball seven times for a total of 43 yards. But the kicker in this is they threw the ball nine times but completed it seven times for a total of 78 yards. So. And we talked so, off Mike. So Marist has 183 total offense uh, and Clark Central has 152 total offense. Right. Marist was penalized three times, Clark Central four times, Marist for a total of 20 yards, Clark Central for a total of 37 yards. Marist had five first downs, Clark Central had seven. And but we're ahead where it counts. Yes, we are, but we need to stop this passing against us. Yes, we do. Uh, seven for nine. Uh, this kid is a nice passer, but he's he's not overwhelming. He's just a nice player, and we need to not let that happen. Seven for nine. That's Drew Brees yeah. and Matt yeah. Ryan and and yeah. uh, and Aaron Rodgers' numbers. And are you insinuating this guy isn't that good? Yeah, I am. <laughs> He's a nice were. player. Yeah, no, I hear you. While we've got just a minute before the second half starts, I want to say two things. One is Matt McGee, number 81 for the Marist War Eagles, um, is celebrating tonight the day before his 18th birthday. At midnight, he will be 18. So what do we do? We do. So we, we, we win happy pre-birthday happy to birth, happy birthday tomorrow. Okay. In advance, happy birthday, Matt McGee. All right. And I understand um, that your grandparents are listening to this, and they requested that specially going out to you. So there it is. Happy birthday as of 12:01 tonight, Matt but, McGee from your grandparents. Unfortunately, Matt's down on the field, so he can't hear us. Well, I know, right but now. but somebody but will tell him. But the grandparents and maybe the parents yeah, can text hear. Text him. Text him, that's right. And the other thing I want to do is say hello to War Dad Eagle, Josh McMahon in Houston, Texas, teaching school out there, is listening to tonight's game. And War Dad is as close as I could come, War Josh. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so. War Dad War Dang, War Dang. How about that? Yeah, you could say that if you wanted to. <laughs> okay. We're talking to him, and we miss you. And, and, and uh, we could use you out here as, to fire these guys up. And but. War Dang, I want you to come back and coach on my staff next year because I loved you last year, and I'm going to love you again next year. And I'm going to I'm going to make Alan Chadwick's life miserable till I get you back. Well, that's going to be up to War Dang. Dang. Dad. Marcus Miller drops deep, along with Griffin King, ready to receive the second half kickoff. And there it is. And Griffin King's going to take it at the five-yard line. He's back to the 10, the 15, the 20, and knocked out of bounds just across the 20-yard line, perhaps. They're going to put it right on the 20. And Marist will put it in play right there. And let's see what adjustments we made at halftime. Here comes Chase. Along with Spencer Taylor, who's at wide receiver, split out to the right. Same backfield that started the game. That's Matt Perez. Gives it to Griffin, who gets about five. Let's see where they're going to spot that. They're going to give him exactly five after the 25-yard line. Run down by number 33, Cedric Armstrong. 
Cedric Armstrong, big linebacker, makes the stop. Speaking of the birthday boy, as of tomorrow, Matt, Matt McGee, McGee just comes came in, in with, with the play. play. Second and five. That's Marcus in motion. He's coming around this way. He needs a block. He got one. He's at the 30 for the first down and gets knocked out of bounds at about the 36 or 37. Let's see where they're going to spot that. Tackle made by number five, uh, Jamel Israel. They got to put that on the 37 for a first down. We need to have a good time-consuming drive right here, Bob. Yes, we do. And put it in. Six, seven minutes would be great for, with, as far as I'm concerned. First and 10 at the 37. Marcus goes in motion again. Chase keeps it. He's got a hole. He's across the 50, the 45. He's being chased. He makes one man miss. He gets his feet. He's at the 30, the 25, and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Nice run by Chase Martinson. Very nice run, but that kind of kills our long drive. Well, that's okay. <laughs> well, we got a man down for Clark Central, number five. I don't know whether he looks like it's a leg. Jamel Israel. They're going to spot the ball right on the 22-yard line. It was about a 38-yard gain by Chase, I believe. Something in that neighborhood. A nice one anyway. And he is being helped up. Israel is being helped off the field. He's kind of walking under his own power, but he is limping. Yeah. Maybe it's not as bad as it first looked. No, I don't think it is. And it'll be first and 10 Marist. Matt Hill comes in with the play. First and 10 Marist at the 22. Same backfield, tight end on the right. Now he stands up to get a play from the sideline. Now we move back into a power formation. He gives it the second man through, and that's Marcus Miller who gets inside the 20 to about maybe the 16. 38 belly, fullback goes through the hole. Um, the right halfback goes through the hole. The the, the B back and uh, got down to the 17 so it's going to be second and five the A back gets the ball oh had a man move we cannot do that no, it's going to be five yards those are drive killers that's a drive killer the end on the far side came up out of his stance Five yards we just gained, we just gave right back. Now it's second and 10. Marcus is in. Nice a pitch to him coming around the side. He needed a block, he got a little block. That was a nice move by Marcus. Very nice. Got danced three extra yards. Yeah, danced around at about the 17, ended up getting across the 15. And we got three Clark Central players that all were running into each other or something. Got inside the 15 to the 14. So that's a nice game. Pick up of about seven or eight. So we got a third and short. What have we got? Third and two. Yeah, but officials blowing whistle. Is somebody hurt? 
I think they're talking to number 20, and he doesn't want to go out of the game, apparently. I think he was banged up a little over here, and they were, I don't know. Okay, we're ready to go. Nine, Thir third and three. 9.35 to go. Third quarter. Ball's on the 14-yard line. Power formation. You give it to Griffin? No. That was Matt Chase. Perez. That was that? Yes, it was. He faked me out of that completely. He got the first down. Got right to the 10-yard line. It's We can still, no, I don't think we can get a first down. But it's first and goal at the 10. That was 25 belly. Power formation again. Same thing. Marcus has it inside the five. 38 belly. You're going to run belly till they stop us, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right to the five-yard line, second my, and goal. It's my favorite five. play that we run. Second and goal at the five. Chase is on the center. Did it to Griffin Hill. I mean, Griffin King. I don't know why I keep saying Griffin Hill. Griffin King in for the touchdown. And he had a nice hole, Bob. And he just yes, put his head did. down and just drove in there and made it easily. And now we're starting to do what we ought to be doing. Josh McMahon just called. Okay. We just heard from War Dad Eagle or War Dang Eagle. Or War Eagle, Josh. That must mean he's listening. And I'm glad you are, Josh. Joey Gogol to try the extra point. Maris now up 16 to 3. And there's a whistle. Let's see what's going on. Too much time or what? Dead ball. Illegal substitution. What does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. Did we have somebody coming in late? I think so. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. But generally speaking, an illegal substitution is when you are set up and you send somebody in and somebody else comes out. It would be unusual to do on an extra point. Yes, it would. Uh, from 15. The 15. Ball's down. It's up. And it's good. No, it's not. No, it's not good. No. It looked good to me. It did to me, too. But we're on an angle. Yeah, Se I guess we are. 17 to 3. Maris is up. Three. No, well, it is good. Oh, okay, they now they went back to 16. I think the okay. scoreboard operator thought it was good, too. Yeah, well, all of us did up here. And so it's 16 to 3. 8.32 to go in the third quarter. Maris War Eagles are going to kick off, and now it's time to play a little D. Defense and stop them right away. Yep. Exactly. Don't let them back. You know, I commented earlier that there weren't very many people from Clark uh, Central. But there are now quite a few people over on the other side. It's nice that they come here. Well, they probably, I don't know, but it, it's entirely possible that they were, when we were commenting, it was before kickoff, and they were right. in traffic and all kinds of other stuff. It can get pretty nasty around here until about 6.30, 7 o'clock, particularly coming in from Athens. Joey puts his foot in it, and it's going to be taken at the one-yard line, and he's up the middle. And a couple guys miss, and he gets out to almost the 30-yard line. A nice run back. And that was 23 again, wasn't it? Right. That's Sorrell's. Matt McGee. Yep. Birthday boy. The birthday boy. The pre-birthday boy. Right. 
First and 10, they start off this time at their own 29. You know, Marcus has had a very, very fine football game. Johnson wants to throw, he does, he throws a flat pass out there. And it is caught for a very short gain. Nice catch. Completed to Austin Johnson. Gonna spot it on the 34. So Austin, give him five. Austin Johnson was laid out on that pass and he pulled it Wants in. To throw again. He does, he fires it over the middle and it's incomplete. Would have been a nice catch. Very nice. Intended for 85, Scott, but it was a little high and just went through his hands. He couldn't hold it. This is an important play right here. Absolutely. Third down for the Gladiators. 7.56 to go. Third the, down and about five and a half. At the 34. He fakes it, he wants to go Going deep, down. going deep. And it's completed down there, threw it right over Marcus Miller. Doughty was th with the catch. It was, it was a long pass. And it was completed down there. He went down with Marcus Miller, but he came up with the ball. Yes, he did. And it's gonna be spotted at the 24 yard line of the War Eagles. Well, maybe this is the play we have to play defense as opposed to the last play. First and 10 at the 24. He wants to throw again over the middle. It's oh. tipped. Oh, we got it. And it's intercepted. Maris has it. He's out to the 20 across the 20, 25 to the 30. Is that Fletcher Malloy? I think it's Fletcher. Yes, it is. Fletcher Malloy <laughs> catches the tip pass and brings it out to the 25. That is a big play. Very good job. Uh, the pass was on target, but it was a little high, and it bounced off the receiver's hands, and Fletcher was behind him in coverage, and he pulled it in and brought it back from about the four-yard line yeah. all the way up to the 30-yard line. Seven thirty-two. Maris takes over at their own 30 after that nice interception by Fletcher. Pitch to Matt Perez gets up to about the 34-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. Pick up of about four. Let's see if they spot it. Give him four or three. Give him, give him to the 33-yard line. Power formation. Chase gives it to his fullback, Griffin King, who hits in there hard and gets to about the 37-yard line. Maybe three or four. Pick up three, four. Third down and a long three. And we're ready to go. No huddle on this. Chase on the center. Oh, we moved again. That time it was a tackle. Sage Harden. Cannot, cannot, cannot do that. Backs us back to the 32. Sage now is a junior, 6'6", 262. Yeah, he's a big guy. And he could be good. He could be outstanding. Now it's third and long, back on the 32-yard line. Gives it to Griffin, who's got a hole. He's across he's the 40, 45, 50. Griffin's got some speed. He's down the sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Griffin Hill. And Matt Perez ran side by side with him and put a Shielded. small block, a shield is what it really exactly. was. Exactly, all the way down the sideline. And put a small block on, on uh, whoever the defensive back was. I couldn't see his number. 
and allowed Griffin to score. 68-yard touchdown for, for Griffin King, number 34. That was big. That was huge, as they say. Joey Gogol to try the extra point. Sam Phelps is a holder. It's a good snap. It's down. And that looked good. If they call that, okay, that's good. <laughs> well, I was watching it really closely uh, that time. I know, I know. <laughs> and you were going to get down on the field. And well, no, but I'd have said, excuse me? <laughs> okay. 23-3. <laughs> that's better. Yeah. Game is not over. we got a long way to go. we got 6.37 in the third quarter. But Marist up by 20 now. And we were, um, I mean, that was a very nice play and a very nice run by Griffin. But they were threatening big time until Fletcher Malloy intercepted that pass right. down there inside the five-yard line. So this game is, is not over by any stretch of the imagination. we got to play. We do have to play. Joey Gogol prepared to kick off. Number 10 and number 28 deep. Austin Johnson and DeAnthony Vereen. Joey comes up, puts his foot in it. This one's going to be in the end zone, and they'll come out to the 20. Nice kick. Joe Gold's a nice kicker, but I, I, I wonder why he comes close to the end zone most of the time, but doesn't always put it in the end zone. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. He's only in the air. He'll be, his leg will get even stronger. Marine takes it up the gut and gets about four. That's a... Quick hitter up there. They got four yards yeah, very they're, quickly. They're going no huddle completely now. 6-19. Pitch to Vereen trying to get around the corner. He, he does. does. Somebody was over there that he went right by him. He gets a... Out to the 35-yard line. That was Fletcher again, along with um, Marcus, and along with Kratz, I think they said. Adam Smith. Might have been Kratz, too. I didn't see him. First and 10 at the 35. Up the middle. Hit right there. I think Jack. I think Jack Trainer was on the bottom of that, had his ankles, and then he fell forward. Maybe pulled loose a little bit, got about three. Kendall Baker finished him off. And Adam Smith was in on that tackle again. They're going to put it on the 38. Five Defense nineteen to go. Be tough right now. Man in motion going to the short side. He wants to throw. He's got a little pressure. Oh, got a, that's where, where it occurred. It's got to be a hold. Oh, I didn't see it. Where's the flag? Right down here on the 35-yard line. Illegal receiver. Yep. Is that a loss of down? Five yards, what are they going to do? I don't think it's a loss of down. Maris declined it. Must have been a five-yarder. Right. 
So it's third and still seven. So this is a big play right here. Clock stopped on the incompletion with 5.06 in the third quarter. Marist up 23 to three. Trips left. A lot of people left and then w one wide receiver right. Yep. He's rolling. He wants to throw, he does. Back across the middle oh. and it's right through his hands. Should it was have high. It. Number 10. Austin Johnson. Yeah. Austin should have had that ball. Griffin will go back more than likely. Nope, it's Matt McGee going back. Griffin's still tired from that 68-yard touchdown. <laughs> Maybe so. And uh, he's kicking, and he does. He gets it off, and it's a fairly nice kick. Matt McGee takes it on the 30, makes one man miss. Gets out to about the 34. The point was he caught it. Yes, that was the point. <laughs> and got to the 34-yard line where Maris will put it in play. And didn't bobble it and held on to it. Exactly. <laughs> and they're going to give him, what, to the 34, 35, 34. 34, maybe 34 and a half. Maris puts it in play with 4.50 to go. Drew Barrows is in the game. Matt Perez over here. They've split the bone. Fake a pitch. He's being rushed. He did a good job of just hanging on to that ball. Yes, he did. And But that young man on defense did a good job of staying with him. Alan Miller on defense and throws him for a loss. Significant loss. Back to the... 28, 27 oh, and a half. Yeah, 27. Loss of seven. So second and 17. He's down. I don't know what they're diving on. He had the ball in his hand, and he's down. Chase got only a couple. When you say a couple, do you mean one and a half? Yeah, that's what okay. I mean. Okay. Maybe not even a half. Maybe he got one. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to put it about the 28-yard line, so it's still third and long. Maris, long time in the huddle. Offensive line got a hold a little better on this. Power formation behind Chase. He keeps it. And a nice tackle there by number 20. Drop Chase right on the 30-yard line. Which means we're, we're at uh, fourth and... Long. 15. Not close. 2.56 to go. Marist has to punt. I can't see his number back. 28. 28. DeAnthony Barine. Joey Gogol is standing on about his 15-yard line, 16-yard line. They're coming. It's a good snap. He gets it off. Yeah, it's taken a bad bounce. Yes, it did. And we we downed it at about the 44-yard line. Correct. So they're going to get good field position. That's only about a, what, 26-yard kick or so. That's not up to par for Joey. Nope. Two twenty-four to go in the third quarter. Twenty-three to three, War Eagles. And they take over in very good field position. 
on their own 44-yard line. And our defense didn't get a whole lot of rest there. That was a three and out. All right. There's a pitch out here trying to turn the corner. Two men miss. Finally, he is hit by Michael Toner and then finished off by Trey Oates. Kratzenberg was out there who slowed him down. Toner brought him down along with uh, Trey Oates. Right. Very nice play on the outside by the War Eagles, a, a gain of about a yard and a half. Ball just across the 45. So second and a long eight. He wants to throw. He's got some pressure. Oh. He dropped the ball. That was Kenneth Brinson putting pressure on him, and he saw him coming and tried to turn around and get a little space between himself and Mr. Brinson and dropped the ball and had to go back and fall on it on the 31-yard line. Yeah, Kenneth is such a fine football player. Big loss back to the 31. Brings up a third down and about 23 to go. Big play here. Maris drops into a, kind of a prevent. Minute to four go. Line, four linebackers, three down linemen. Now they're acting like they're blitzing, and they do. They send Marcus Miller, and he's got him, and he spins off of him, and he's rolling, and now he throws deep, to, and he's got a man wide open down the sideline, and he's going to score. We thought we had him in the Marcus backfield. Marcus Miller had him in the backfield, and our defensive backs just quit. Yep. Let a guy get behind him, and he took it in for a touchdown. Yes, they did. Dowdy again on the reception. Had him backed up and let him out. Let him score. Excuse me, it was number 10, not number one for Johnson on the touchdown. Try for the point. It's a good snap, good hold. And the kick is good. 23 to 10. Forty seconds, forty point seven seconds to go. Third quarter. In the third quarter. Lead is cut now to thirteen. You know, you, you can't, can't you can't have those lapses against good teams. No, you can't. And and that happened to us last night in the first half. We thought somebody was down and everybody relaxed and he wasn't down. Yep. Got to play to the whistle. Right. And as coach Chadwick says, you got to have 11 hats on the ball. Yeah. Well, Marcus had him and he did a good job of keeping his feet and spinning around. Marcus slid off, and he lost his balance for a second, got it right away, and then he had the presence of mind instead of just tucking it and running, looking for the man, and he was wide open. <laughs> Boy, there wasn't anybody within 20 yards of him. Yep. Matt Perez and Marcus Miller deep to take the kickoff. And he kicks it. And it's Matt Perez on about the 8 to the 20, 25, 30. And he has dropped about the 32, 33 yard line. Thirty-five seconds to go in the third quarter. Chase keeps it, and they were ready for that one. 
They didn't take that fake at all. No, they, they're going to run. Allen, Allen Miller, number 97, just dropped chase right there for a loss of one. They were going to run triple that time, and the, and the uh, middle guard uh, just shot the gap and got to chase before he could uh, get outside on triple. 12 seconds, I think we're going to let the quarter expire. That's going to do it for the third quarter. At the end of the third quarter, your score, Maris 23, Clark Central 10. The War Eagles need and another score. We got score. a ball game. We need another score. Absolutely. 23 to 10. Doesn't make me feel very comfortable. Well, it, considering the chairs we're sitting on, nobody's comfortable up here. Well, that's true, too. <laughs> that's true, too. Especially not a couple of old codgers. Speak for yourself. <laughs> okay. So as we start the fourth quarter, it's going to be Maris Ball but they are second and 11 at their own 31. comes out second and 11 Marcus Miller Matt Perez Griffin King your backfield that's Marcus in motion chase fakes it keeps it and he has run down again and dropped after a very short gain if any he had to pitch Marcus gonna give him just one so now it's third and ten Third and eleven. Marcus had the uh, had the edge. Got the one yard loss back, and so we're back to ten yards. But it's a long ten yards at this stage of the game, and on our 32-yard line. in motion again little counter oh nicely done nicely done he could be gone let's see he's at the 20 25 20 excuse me 30 25 20 and fell across the 20 yard line a nice little counter move there yes very nice Trey Oates took that end around coming back the other way yes he did and turned the corner and got all the way down inside the 20 they're gonna mark it on the 19-yard line. It started out as triple, and Trey came in reverse, and uh, Chase just... Bob, that's called an end around. Well, it may be so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. Marcus Miller takes the pitch this time. He's got a blocker out there trying to use that block. Cuts it up a little bit and gets a few. Uh, got about six. He had Matt Perez out there giving him some space. Right. Marcus gets up. Marcus gets up a little gimpy though. They're going to send in Michael Toner. Marcus is okay. He's okay. Ball's on the 13-yard line. Second and short. Power formation. Second man through. There he goes. Oh. And who was Matt that? Perez. Matt, Matt Perez. Matt Perez. Matt Perez takes it in for a score. That's that. That, was that helps. What, yes, that was what we needed. So now they've got to score three times to beat us.
Now the extra point, Joey Gogol. It's a good snap, good hold, and went kind of off the side of his foot, but did he get it? No, he no, didn't. He didn't. Well, that second one missed. That's a shame. And that's not like him. No, that's not like him at all. But you could tell when he hit that, that didn't look right. I mean, he just didn't hit it solidly. I even saw that one. So one second under 10 minutes in the game now. And Marist is out 29 to 10. That's a little better. Yeah, but three three touchdowns with extra points. Yeah, but we're not talking three touchdowns. Come on. <laughs> Can I not just be the pessimist no, occasionally? No, no. All right. No room for that. Think positively. Okay, I always do. And you criticize me for that. Well, you know, you're easy to criticize. <laughs> okay, I got you. Okay, a little time to get a good kickoff, put it in the end zone, and, and then play a little D. Don't let them back in this thing. That was a – that could have been a very disheartening drive for Maris there, backed up and then hitting that big one. Joey Gogol set to kick off. And he does, and he drives that one. Well into the end yeah, zone. Yeah, that's – Back yeah, to the end zone. That was zone. eight yards deep into the end zone. So 9.59 in the ball game. And the Gladiators will put it in play on the 20-yard line. And they come out ready to go right away. No huddle. Going to roll left. And he's getting a little pressure, but he got it off. He's got a man out there. And he got about 20 where? Where are they going to spot it? Pretty close. Got it, yeah, got about nine yards on that. Right. Fletcher Malloy on the stop. But it got a nice gain. Three or four of those yards. Second and short. As he rolled after the tackle. Right. Did it to his back up the middle. He slides off a man. And thank heaven out there was a nice save and tackle by Lot Gwynn. That was a nice tackle. And we got a man down for Clark Central. It's going to be first down on the 34. Chet Lagarde has just gone in and Gus McInerney. Sam's little brother. Just got an announcement that Thomas County Central is leading Valdosta 10 to 7 at the half. That's our next opponent next week. Down at Thomas County Central. That's a long ride. Which Hopefully it'll be shorter coming back than going down. Right. It's right <laughs> next to Tallahassee, as I recall. It's right on the Florida line. <laughs> Thomas County is about as far as you can go and still be in Georgia. Looks like just a cramp. And that was Vereen who, who had the cramp and had comes off. And he's played a very good, fine football game. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm glad to see that uh, Gus McInerney is in the game. Um, he's about as tall as his older brother Sam was, but a little bit wider. And he plays in the middle of the defensive line. And he's a nice football player. First down. He gives it to his back, going off that side, and he's hit and dropped. Nice tackle out there, Lot Gwynn, and also uh, Kratz, I think. 
No, Adam Smith, excuse me. Adam Smith and Lot Gwynn on that stop. Right. They're giving him about six yards out to the 40 yard line. I know. It was amazing we survived one. Second and four. 8.25 to go. So you play trying to get outside, but he's another nice tackle out there by Lot Gwynn. Linebacker on that side coming in. Made a nice penetration and then dropped him for about a yard loss. He was held up by Brian Mooney, which allowed Lot to come up and get him. So we got third down. Big play. Johnson's rolling. He wants to throw. He does. He fires it out there. He's got a man wide open sitting in the, in the gap. And he catches the ball and gets across the 50 to the 45 to the 44 before Adam Smith on the stop again. But it's a first down on the 44-yard line of the War Eagles. Also, Michael Toner on that stop. First and 10. Wants to throw again. He's got a little pressure and he avoids it again. Brinson had him and missed him. Throws it. Oh, and 23. Right through his hands. Could not hold on. Desmond Sorrells, he's the threat. And he was there. And he could not hold on. It went right through his hands. Clock stopped with the inter with the incompletion at 7:22. Maris 29 to 10. Clark Central moving at the Maris 44. It's a pitch to the outside. He's trying to turn the corner. Man out there stops him, but not until he gained about another five yards or so. Michael Toner, I think, on that stop. Yep, it was Michael. And also, um, Jack Kratzenberg was out there too. But what they did out, out there is they stopped the stock block and beat the man to the ball, the well, offensive Just man. across the 40. Third down, big play again. Big third down play, wants to throw. Got some pressure. Rolling. Being chased, fires a man down the middle, and it's incomplete. Michael Toner on that. Intended for number 13, Marcus Campbell. Brings up a fourth down. Michael Toner. Big play here. Fourth down. I doubt that they're going to be punting. No, I wouldn't think they're going to punt. 6.38 to go in the ball game. It's fourth and about six. They've got to go for it, and of course they will. And in motion, that puts three receivers over here on the right. He rolls to the right. He's being chased. He fires it deep. He's got a man down there, and he overthrows him. Just barely. Just barely. Fletcher Malloy covering. And Marcus Campbell was the receiver, and it was just out of his reach. It, it had to be a perfect pass, but if it had been, that was, that was a touch. If so his, Maris takes over. If his fingertips were an inch longer, he would have had that ball. Well, maybe two inches. Okay, well, let's give him one and a half. I was going to say inch and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maris takes over at their own 40-yard line. Power formation. Chase gives it to his fullback. Now this is, through. this is where the War Eagles want to be. They want the football. That was Griffin, I believe, in there, wasn't it? Yes. With six minutes and 18 seconds to go, and they want to run up the middle. And Griffin comes out. And just, and just hold the football. And run, run the clock, exactly. Ball's out to the 43-yard line. Griffin picked up three on that. And they're taking their time in the huddle. We don't want to take too much time, though, guys. Second and seven. We 
Receivers wide to the left. What are we doing? Uh, I think we either have gotten a five-yard penalty for delay of game. Yep, I think because Coach it was. Chadwick is furious with them. Yep, we spent too much time in the huddle. That's exactly what we did. Now it's second and 12. Chase is running with it. He wants to get to the outside. He's not going to get there. Don't go out of bounds there, Chase. 40, he got out to the 45. That's not a bad game. No, it's got like about, got, about, got about seven yards. Seven yards. That's a very good game. Uh-oh, we got a man down. Who is it? I'm trying to see. Oh, he's hurt. I think it's Sage Harden. He's been hurt. He's been ninked, banged up. And he's been playing kind of through it. Yeah, that's Sage, I think. He's had a bad ankle or a bad knee or something, and he was at camp. And, uh, yeah, we got the doctors out there looking at him. Well, Chase got that ball all the way out to the 45-yard line which brings up about a third and a long five. Big play with 5.35 to go, but Sage is down, and now he's being helped off, but he's not putting any weight on his right leg. No, he's not. And fortunately for us, we've got one of the best orthopedic surgeons in all of Georgia, maybe the southeast, I was say, Marvin the southeast. Royster, um, who's going to look after him right now. Now he's putting some weight on the right leg. A little bit of weight. Yeah, very slowly. That's better than nothing, though, isn't it? Yep. Okay, 5.35 to go in the ball game. 29 to 10. Maris got a big third down play, third and a long five. Ian Gibson, the fullback behind Chase. He wants to throw. Ian makes a nice block, and he throws a long one. He threw it to Dan Perez. But he threw it out of bounds. One of who's our assistant head coach on the sideline. So two seconds go off the clock. And uh, 5.23. Maris going to have to punt. Joey Gogol in punt formation. I dare say they may come after this one. Well, since they've got 10 in the box. Sorrels, or Vereen, excuse me, is only deep man. Yep. It's a high snap, but Joey gets it and gets it off. Good kick. Very good kick. Taken on the 10-yard line and dropped. Picks it, it up, drops again. it again. Still on the ground. And I Maris think we got it. have the ball. I think we got it. I believe we've got it. I'm not sure. It was it was changed hands about four times. Nope, they got it. 5:04 to go. They've got the ball on their own 10-yard line. Got 90 yards to go to score. And in order to win this football game, they've got to score three times. I don't know that they've got a time to do it. Um, let's hope not. That was a very nice punt. And nice coverage. And they were lucky that they got that one back because he dropped it at least twice. He got the ball on the 10-yard line. First and 10 coming out. He wants to throw. He does. Throws a little flat pass out here. Stiff arms one man makes a miss. Puts his head down and gets out across the 20 for a first down. That was a nice play. Fletcher Malloy on the stop, but he took a pounding 
to do it. Pick up of 12. First down at the 22. He wants to throw. He's looking to his left this time. Now he's rolling to his right. Now he's running. Cuts back up. Gets hit and dropped across the 35. Another first down. Should have gone out of bounds. When he got the first down. It stops the clock momentarily, and they're running such a no-huddle, fast no-huddle, that it, they'll probably get it snapped about the time they started. Lot Gwynn on that stop. Got out to the 37. And Mayor, I still decided to take a timeout and get a little uh, organized. Take a blow. 4.29 to go. Marist up by 19. What did I say the score was last year? 30 to 13, wasn't that right? And tonight it's 29 to 10. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. Well, let's just hope we can hang on here for another four and a half minutes and come away with a win, and let's hope that Sage Harden's okay, that nobody gets hurt, because we have a tough one next week. As those of you who are following us regularly know, these, all, these first three games are all out of the region, which technically for playoff purposes don't really mean anything. We need to win the region to get into the playoffs, and that doesn't start until our fourth game. But, but we want to win, obviously. We, we want to win these games, and these games get us ready for the playoffs. That's exactly right. That's what they're all about, to, to teach us how good teams will play against us. A run that time trying to get Sorrells or Sorrells around the edge, and he picks up a few out to the 415 to go. Give him the 39, so he only got a couple. Second and eight, he wants to throw this time. He's got pressure, he fires it over the middle and it's complete. Makes two guys miss, makes another one miss. Finally, who is that? Comes in and Adam, Adam Smith, Smith comes in and finally tackles him. But a big long gain across the 50 all the way down to the 35 yard line of Marist. He made several people miss there. 353. Run after the catch as they say. Yards after the catch, I guess it is, Yak. First and 10 at the 35 of Marist. He wants to throw, he's looking. Got a little pressure, he gets outside. He's got a lot of time now. Being chased again. Come on, Kendall, don't stop. We got it. Intercepted. Marist got the football. Let's see who it was. It was Kratz. Yep, Kratzenberg. Kratzenberger. Tough That's little bird. Nice. Tough, Very nice. Tough little kid. And he intercepts and brings it out to the 41 yard line. That's a big play. 328 to go. Huge play. Oh, uh, Sam's going. Sam Feltz is going in. And we have, That's good. We, yeah, it is good. We have virtually everybody who's second or third unit in the game. And that wasn't good. Julian ran right into him. Yep. I don't know whether that was Sam or Julian, but it wasn't what you wanted to do. No, it certainly was And fortunately, wasn't. we kept the ball. Yep. Sam just kept it. Got out to the 44. Pickup of three. Take your time, guys. Clock's running. Three minutes to go. Gives it to Julian this time. Julian gets across the 45. Julian Clark to the 47. 240. Robert.
Robert Yates comes in with the play. Third and the gun, five. Sam keeps it. Goes forward down to the 50. Very close. Yep, he's going to be about a yard short. Got three, needed four. One fifty-five to go, and Clark Central is going to take a timeout so that they get the ball with a little bit of time. And Marist, what do you do, Bob? You punt it, obviously, I guess. Uh-uh. You don't? You run the ball? Try What's to get the first? Yeah, this is what we do. That's what Marist does. Let's see. We get a yard. Let's when see we what need we do. It. Let's see what we do. They're out there talking and not acting like they're going to punt. We don't believe in in third down and out. Back. Well, this is not your level. <laughs> I know it's not. Coach Perez is out there talking to his offensive lineman. I don't see Joey Gogol anywhere near the huddle. Sam Phelps is there next to Coach Etheridge. Got one yard to go to put this game on ice, pretty much. They got two time. Gladiators got two timeouts left. But we got to get the first. Yep. They're calling the plays. Sam just slapped, I mean, uh, Coach Ether just patted Julian on the head. So that may mean that Julian's getting the ball and saying, get that yard, Julian. Don't run yeah. into Sam. No. <laughs> Hit it hard and get it. Fourth and one at the 50. Sam kept it instead of giving it, and, and he got thrown for a loss. And we didn't get it. Nope. And Julian would have had it. Yeah, I think Ju Julian would have had it. That was a misread by Sam, I think. I don't know that, but it looked kind of like it. So with 150 to go, the it, defense has to come back on the field and stop the gladiators. It was a misread by Sam because Coach Etheridge is down there talking to him right now as we speak. Yep. He's been known to do that. <laughs> Takes after his dad. Well, a little. <laughs> In the good things he does, he does. Well, some, some of them are First good. First and ten for Clark Central. Gives it to his back. He's running, and he cuts it up, and he gets down across the 45, but not a first down. Clock's still running. He gets to the 43. Sorrell's on that. Got about six. Patrick Sullivan on the stop for Marist. Second and four. He wants to throw. He's got some pressure. Oh, and he missed him. Matt Hoey missed him. He's Matt Hoey, come back and get him, Matt. Matt Hoey was so upset that he missed him that he wasted a little time getting up. Uh-oh, we got a hurt player. Who is it? John Tapp has got his bell rung. Mm -hmm, he sure does. Yeah, he's he's not all there. That's he's gonna sit out for a little bit. First down down to the thirty but two the, yard line. But the doctors in Garland Huff are laughing, so there there's something not all that serious about it, or he's just being very funny. Tap I'm talking about. Yeah, I imagine he's funny because that looked pretty serious yeah, to me. He looks serious to me too. First and 10 at the 32, a minute to go. Johnson rolls to his left. He wants to throw, he does, and he bounces it. You know, he hasn't done of, that. In front of his receiver, Austin Johnson, he stopped the clock at he 49. He hasn't done that the whole game. I know. So just that play. Yeah, no, that was, he it just slipped out of his hand, I think. Yep. He's Second and 10 at the 32. Marist up 29 to 10. 
I think it's safe to say that we're not going to lose this ball game, but they do not want Clark Central to score here. 49.9 seconds to go. Three receivers to the left. High snap. Pitch out there. He's got those three guys now acting as blockers. He's got cuts a it hold. Up. Hold where the flag was thrown. Well, I hope it's a hold because he went all the way down the sideline. Yes, he did. But where that flag was thrown, that's a hold. Let's see. Hold. You got it. Holding is going to move them back to the 45 yard line. Holding was a little bit behind the line of scrimmage, and that's why he gets all the way back to the 45, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So it's second down and very long. Johnson wants to throw. He's got pressure again, and he escapes the pressure again. He's done a nice job of that all night. And he didn't get the first down, but he got down there close. He was stopped ultimately by Carter Miller over there on about the 30, inside the 30. Where are they going to spot it? On the 24-yard line. They got about 20 yards, but it still wasn't enough to get the first. Nope. With 24 seconds to go, Clark Central takes a timeout. And that brings up a second down, is it? They third, some. third down and about two. And I want you to note that Ian Gibson, who's not in the game right now, is out there hitting all of his defensive cohorts on the head and tell him to let's go. Stop him right now. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a, he's competitor. a little guy. He yeah, really he is. is, no question. No question. And he's not he's not big, but he he puts everything he's got into it. Well he's five nine, 185 pounds, and it's all muscle. So I mean it's not as if he's huge, but he's not tiny either. What are you looking for? I thought he was a little bigger than that. 5'8", 185. No, he's a little smaller than that. 5'8". Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His dad and I were talking the other day, and that, that's what his dad told me. Okay, we got second and, and about two at the 24 with 24 seconds. In the ball game, Maris leading 29 to 10. But particularly, this second team defense does not want these guys to score. No, they don't. We want to play right Johnson. now. Oh, nice pump fake. Throws it. It's complete for a first down. And he gets inside the 20 to the 15. 17 seconds to go. We've got to make one play. They got Maybe one, two. They got one timeout left, yeah. He wants to throw again. He's got a little time. Now he runs. He's across the line of scrimmage, so he's running. But he's trying to turn the corner. He does turn the corner, and he scores. Johnson, With he seven, does. 7.4 seconds to go. So it's going to be 29 to 17, more than likely. Johnson's a good athlete. The quarterback? Mm -hmm. Very good athlete. And truthfully, he's been pretty much on the money. He's had some passes dropped. Yes, he has. I mean, they hadn't been—I mean, they hadn't been on the numbers. They've been reaching for them, but right. yeah, but they should have been caught a they lot. About been. yeah, I can think of two or three at least going for two. And he's hit at the goal line, but he gets in, I believe. Yes, he does. Two points is good. So, 29 to 18. Is that right? Yep, 29 to 18. You think they'll try an onside kick with seven seconds? Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Why you not? Think, you, why, I, I agree. Why not? A little practice. They could do an onside kick, recover it, and run it in, get two points, they still lose. <laughs> <laughs> but I doubt that they could do that in seven seconds. It, it, it'd be hard. <laughs> And I think we're going to have our hands team up, up close. Good practice for us, too. So Maris puts... Sam Feltz one, is up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Matt McGee. Eight, nine. About nine, yeah, nine people up within ten yards. Yeah. Let's see how they execute it. It's a little sunshine kick. <laughs> and that's the safe thing to do. Drew Barrows catches it. Yep. And goes down with, by himself. With 4.4 .4 seconds with four to go. Point, that's okay. <laughs> no point in, in getting hit, fumbling the ball. All we got to do is take a knee or two if necessary. Sam does take a knee, and that's going to do it. Well, Coach Chadwick and the coaching staff are not going to be happy about that last score. No, they're not. Um, uh, you know, they've, they've got stuff to work on. Yes. I mean, this is still a young team without any question. Yep. Uh, and uh, if we play like this next week against Thomas County Central, it could be um, a long ride home. <laughs> a very long <laughs> ride home. <laughs> Um, yeah. I mean, going, getting to Moultrie will take a while. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> from where we're going to be. That's true. Okay. We got, Once again, your final score, 29 to 18, Marist. Um, we had some good things. Marcus Miller played a very good game. Yes, he did. Chase was uh, okay. Yeah. Um, he made some nice runs. He made a crucial fumble. The um, first defense was nice. First played defense. It. First defense played pretty well. Yep. Again, got beat on a couple uh, on the play down up out here where Marcus Miller almost made the tackle and everybody kind of went to sleep. You can't do that. Right. You got to you got to play to the whistle. Um, gave up the long run in the first quarter. Um, no, not the first quarter, but the second quarter, I guess, where they got the field goal, or was that the third? Anyway, they gave up a couple big plays. Um, but overall, they, they played hard. They played well. I hope Sage Harden didn't hurt badly, and I hope John Tapp didn't hurt badly. The, those are the two guys who came off the field. Sage, it looked like it was a knee. Uh, Tapp, it looked like he got hit in the head. He didn't have any idea where he was. Right. Um, so I hope that's not too serious, although now they are being so careful with any kind of a head injury or concussion that and they'll keep him out a week or three. Yeah, at least he'll be he'll be out a while. Yep. Um, but I hope he's OK. Uh, right. And the nice thing is we do. We have the medical staff on the sidelines every game and they are they are the best. They are so, the best. So whatever it is, they will take care of it. But overall, a good way to start the season. We yep. got the win against a 5A team. Yep. Again, the Clark Central is no slouch. And we play a 5A team next week, too. Yeah, a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas County Central. But uh, War Dad Eagle or War Dang Eagle, yep. we at least brought home a win, buddy. Yep. But we wish you were here when we miss you. Yep. And grandparents of Matt McGee, tell him we said hello um, right. and wished him a happy birthday as of one minute after midnight tonight. Right. But that's going to do it for Bob Fear, Phil Etheridge, Devin Summers, and the Marist Broadcast Club. 
from Hughes Spalding Stadium on the Marist campus. Your final score once again, Marist War Eagles 29, Clark Central Gladiators 18. Good night. Good night, everybody. everybody. Good night, everyone.